What's up, my peeps? Back at it again. Like I didn't miss a beat. I'm sorry, I don't got my earrings and I'm looking like, well, you know, bigger earrings. And I'm looking like, mm, I don't know what I'm looking like. But my eyebrows did. Mm. 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 Okay, I'm done. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you guys, what is up? Um, so yeah, this video is gonna be a video on my, uh, what's the job called? My experience at the hotel that me and my friends stayed at in Miami, Florida, uh, for my birthday. It was lit. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go watch it. Click up there. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. I got a list of pros and cons, the stuff that I thought about. Um, hopefully that's everything. But uh, yeah. So for one, the name of the hotel was um, Staybridge Suites. Miami International Airport. Yes. <laughs> so Staybridge Suites is the name of the hotel, but they have two locations. We stayed at the one by the International Airport. Um, yeah, I'm sure they're both the same, both locations, I'm sure they're the same, but yeah, anyways. Um, so I'm gonna start with the pros. Um, the pros was that since it is a suite, it has a kitchen, which I loved because, look, I'm always cooking. But, um, so yeah, it had a kitchen. It had a two-burner stove. It had a refrigerator with, obviously, a freezer. It had a sink. It had a dishwasher. It had a microwave. It didn't have an oven, but that's fine. I was set with the stove. I didn't have a whole stove. And it's lit because it comes with everything you need in there. Like, it has pots, pans, utensils glasses, plates, like spatulas, tongs. They got salt, pepper, they don't got seasoning. So we did have to go buy seasonings and stuff, obviously. But uh, yeah. But um, yeah, that was lit. The, the freezer had an ice, uh, what's it not called? Ice maker. Um, Yeah, it had dish, what's the stuff called? Dish detergent. For the dishwasher, yeah, dish detergent for the dishwasher already, so we could put our dishes in the dishwasher. We didn't even have to hand wash them if we didn't want to. And yeah, it already had the stuff, but we didn't have to go buy that. It did come with like, you know, the dishcloth and the dish rag, blah, blah, blah. It was lit. Um, loved it. So the next pro was um, it had a pull out couch. So it was three of us, so two of us got the bed and then one slept on the couch, which was good because, um, yeah, if you don't want to buy, if you didn't want to pay for the two bedroom or two bed suite, then everyone still gets a bed to sleep on. No one's like sleeping on like a regular couch, you know what I mean? Or like the floor or whatever. Like it actually turned into a bed. So I thought that was really good because it was still an extra bed. But we didn't have to buy the two bedroom. Why well, you saying two bedroom? The two bed room, room. Yeah, no, I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, um, I liked also that the sink was outside of the bathroom. So I mean, as in, there was the sink, and then you know the mirror and all that, and then there was a room that had like the toilet and the shower in. So I like that. So like in the morning, like if we were all trying to get ready, um, like if someone went to brush their teeth while someone took a shower or was using the bathroom or whatever, they can do that. They don't have to like wait because they're all in the same area. You know what I mean? So I loved that. That is very convenient when you're in, you know, a room with more than obviously one person. You're in there more than just by yourself or even with your significant other because obviously with significant other it's like if you gotta go to the bathroom while they're in the shower you probably gonna go in there and just go to the bathroom like going about your business whatever but with friends obviously it's different so that was good um that you could do that um they had elevators 
as in like they had multiple elevators so that was good because some i feel like some hotels they might not have elevators but um they did have elevators and they had multiple ones so you didn't always have to like wait a long time for the elevator to come down or up or whatever um so that was convenient we never had to wait for an elevator so that was really good um they had free breakfast uh at the hotel i forgot the times but it was like seven to ten i think or something like that uh i'm, I'm saying i'm a lot i'm sorry i just realized <laughs> but my bad y'all i'm trying to think of everything but they had free breakfast they had like waffles cereal coffee juice soda uh i think they had oatmeal they had I think they had eggs, they had like sausage, ham, I think. I can't think of everything, but they had, yeah, that was some stuff they had. Um, yeah. And then uh, the last pro that I thought about was a free birthday drink. I don't know if they do this for everyone. I feel like they did it for me because I'm cool, you know. <laughs> but they gave me a free birthday drink when I had checked in um the lady was like oh so what you down for what you here for you know just making small talk while I was checking in and I was just like oh it's my birthday me and my friends just came down for a couple of days um to celebrate my birthday and she was like what and then she like called the bartender the bartender guy over and she's like this is her birthday so make sure you get her a drink on us da -da -da. so I was like hey that's lit so <laughs> I definitely enjoyed that and he hooked that drink up like he did that that drink was so good like it was literally a drink like I literally only needed one drink and I was like good like he hooked that drink up that was a great free drink but yeah so that was lit I love that um and now for the cons the cons was even though it was free breakfast it was nasty breakfast <laughs> So, yeah, like, it was free, so it's the thought that counts, but it was nasty. I didn't like it. Um, the only thing I really liked was the coffee. Uh, yeah, that was about it. The coffee was good. I didn't, I had, if you see my video, I got, like, a waffle. I think that was it, but I didn't even eat it. I didn't like it. Um, so, yeah, we ended up just eating something out or whatever because it wasn't good. And then the other con, or another con is, um, this was the kicker. This was like the top one. I don't even know. I didn't put this in no type of order, but this was the top con <laughs> is you have to pay for parking. Like, I don't know what hotel you have to pay for parking. Well, I lied. I said that one, one time, one time before, but that was a really, really, really bougie hotel. Like it was a really, really nice high priced hotel um and you had to pay for parking there but this was like a regular nice hotel if that makes sense like it wasn't like overpriced extra bougie so for them to make you pay for parking like that was horrible i didn't like it but um yeah so you had to pay for parking i shall say i did that twice I forgot I've been to two bougie hotels that I had to park. But like I said, regardless, those were bougie, bougie, bougie hotels. Anyways, this was like more regular, nice hotel. So yeah, parking was $20 a night. We stayed there three nights. So that was $60 extra dollars that we had to pay for parking. Yeah. So obviously it was valet. Like you pull, you know, just like you do regular valet, you pull up, get them the key, and then you... They take your car and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Regular valet. But, yeah, that was $20 a night. So, didn't like that. Like, that's 60 whole dollars. When every other hotel has, like, a parking lot and you just park your own car and you walk to your own car when you got, you know what I mean? So, yeah. That was the only thing I didn't care for um, the most. And then the last con, as you can see, there was only three cons. Like, the pros definitely outweighed the cons. But the last con was, um, this was the first place I've seen that was like that. I don't think I've been to another place that was, that had this. But, yeah, that was another con. But, um, every person after two people in a room, you have to pay $20 for a night. So, like I said, there was three of us. So, 
again, that was 60 extra dollars plus, you know, already the room that we had to pay because there was three of us instead of two. So, and I even looked like, it's like that on the two bed one too. So I'm like confused, but yeah. So put the room plus 60 extra dollars because it was three people plus 60 extra extra dollars because uh, we had to pay for parking. So yeah, that was that. But, um, yeah, that's like $120 that we could have saved. But anyways, <laughs> overall, though, like, the trip was lit. I love that hotel. Like, we're actually planning on going back next year um, for a just because trip, though. Not for, like, another birthday trip, but a just because trip. Um, but, yeah, and we do plan on staying there. We either we're going to stay there or we did say we're going to um, look around and see if there's more hotels. Um if we want to try it out but if not then we're just gonna stay at the same hotel because it was lit we loved it like i said we loved the kitchen i had cooked for them um we had steak potatoes broccoli and rolls hawaiian rolls yeah they were happy <laughs> but um yeah it was really good but um yeah that was about it for this video i just want to give you guys um a review on that hotel if you're ever in Miami, you need to know where to stay, what's a good hotel that's not too overpriced, and, you know, if it's nice and all that jazz, so. Two thumbs up from us. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, so, yeah, until next time, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I love you guys. Bye!